cracking mother truckers. Y'all. So, uh, apologize, there's an elk in my house. Uh, well, I think it's time to uh, bring back the vlogs for a little bit, because uh, I'm, I'm endeavoring, I'm about to endeavor on a project here at my house. Mm. I've been waiting to do this for a while now, and uh, finally getting around to it, figured it'd be best time now before it starts getting real cold here in, uh, you know, in Antarctica. So, uh, I'm painting my house, painting the inside. So, um, as you know, I live in a, uh, somewhat of a trailer. It's like a trailer slash modular. It's like half and half, kind of. Anyways, <clears throat> it's not drywall, so it's like this, uh, you know, kind of like particle board paneling. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start painting. I'm actually gonna go head to Lowe's right now, go pick up paint. I decided on this color here, it's a faint maple. A faint, faint maple. So, that's the paint. I'm gonna freaking paint everything. So, it's probably gonna take me a few days to get everything done. Um, I'm, so, I'm endeavoring on this project. I'm gonna do painting the entire house, and then I'm also gonna lay flooring, uh, do new flooring in the kitchen. And in the bathrooms, the bathrooms are carpeted, which is pretty disgusting. Uh, I don't know why in like the freaking 80s when they made all these freaking homes, they decided to lay carpet in the bathrooms. There's linoleum underneath, but I don't know why they freaking laid carpet underneath it. So, <clears throat> over top of it, overneath it. <laughs> uh, anyways, so that's what I'm going to be doing this week. And I figured I'd film all of it. Maybe y'all would want to know how to paint a house. I'm sure y'all don't really care. Oh, you don't want to watch me paint a house? Oh, oh, too fucking bad. I'm going to show you anyways. <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, I'm going to head to Lowe's now. Go pick up some paint. The bourbon truck is in the shop right now. Uh, and uh, I might be getting that back. I got an elk locked up in my bathroom. Apologize for that. Um, the bourbon truck uh, might possibly be done here in the next hour. If not, it'll be done tomorrow. Just some problems with it. So uh, I had to get a new ignition switch and uh, some other shit. Uh... I don't like dealing with electrical. I can pretty much do everything else, but uh, electrical shit, I don't like to deal with. So, I couldn't even figure out what the tits problem was. Anyways, I'll get into that later. We're going to freaking paint the house. We're going to go pick up some paint and all that kind of crap. And we'll get started, mother truckers. So, come along for the ride. Let's paint each other. Or the house, the walls. Okay, let's do it. Thank you, bro. All right, banjo's coming too. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and I just want to clarify to everyone that has been asking. When I post pictures, like, the, uh, yes, I don't know when y'all are seeing this. I don't know when I'm uploading it, but yesterday, when I'm filming this now, uh, the landlord here at the farm, he shot a doe, and I was in a Dodge bringing it up, and everybody's like, oh, that's cool, you got a Dodge. No, I didn't freaking buy a Dodge, you silly bitch. What the fuck are you even thinking? Oh, outlaw, he's driving a Dodge, so he obviously bought a fucking Dodge. Oh, he's in a Jeep right now, so he obviously bought a Jeep. Oh, he's so rich. Oh, he's so fucking rich. Oh, he, what a fucking cunt he is. Fuck you, man. Jesus Christ, if you're so stupid that you think that I drive a Dodge one fucking time because I live on a big-ass farm, and it's not like we have fucking so many vehicles that are work trucks around the frickin' farm. I apologize. I'm getting so worked up. Apologize about that. I just get really pissed when people jump to conclusions. Sons of bitches. And plus, I wouldn't fucking own a Dodge anyway. You ever hear the ball joints of them fucking things? Every time I drive by a guy, they have Dodge. I'm like, holy fuck! Holy fuck! I'm afraid the ball joints are gonna come out and slap me across the face. Alright, y'all. Apologize. <sighs> Deep breaths. That's what my doctor tells me. Get that right, Banjo. Alright, I'm heading to go get the paint. Just wanted to uh, clarify that. Okay. Alright y'all, so we just got back and uh, this is my ladder, put that in the barn. Um, got uh, all my paint here, so I got it in a faint, faint, faint gallon bucket. A faint gallon? Oh yeah, faint gallon. Got the paint, got all my brushes and shit. Good God. Whoever lived here before me must have had a tits ton of freaking pictures hanging up. This is all from one wall. Sheesh. Anyways, got all the nails out, screws out, and everything. Um, oh yeah, by the way, taped up my gosh. To, oh, son of a dick! I got me a purdy brush, and uh, right when I get home, it decides Banjo wanted to freaking chew on it. I had to tape up some bitch. Anyways, got all my materials, materials here, and uh, got all the. Uh, there was these um, little 
curtain hanger mother truckers above all the windows. So I took those all down since I don't use them. Uh, nails and screws out. Right now I'm just prepping, about to uh, putty. You can see there's, you know, holes from this wall. It's really fucked. It's all dirty and shit too, but there's holes all over the place in it. So I need a putty, and uh, then, um, you know, this putty I'm going to do with my fingers. You know, I'm not going to do any sanding. Fuck that! Anyways, this is like, it's not even wallpaper. I mean, it looks like wallpaper, but it's not. Like, this is the shit that, it, like, comes on the particle board when they build the walls. So it's like, it's somewhat like freaking wallpaper, but it's not. You know what I mean? So I'm just painting over it. I'll putty and then make sure everything's good. And then I'm going to actually probably start in here. This is my room. Of course, it's a freaking mess right now because I've just taken everything off the walls and put my had some laundry down there and shit. But, uh, yeah. It's gonna look, my house is gonna look like shit when I'm doing this because everything's gonna be spread out and crap. I gotta move everything away from the walls and then, uh, then I'm gonna start, probably start cutting in a little bit tonight. You know, I gotta, I'm gonna go ahead and before I roll, I'm just gonna cut everything in up here on that little baseboard or crown molding. And then, uh, there is no baseboard, so I'll freaking, uh, I got this. Actually, let's show you what I do for the carpet. Had an idea. Yeah, I got some drop gloss and shit, but I picked up this old, like, drywall mud uh, utility tool, utility tool, so that I can just push the carpet down like that, and then, you know, paint right over top of it, and uh, I got the long drywall one. I could just use a putty knife, but these are, these drywall mud uh, tools here are freaking a lot better for, uh, for longer things. Because this ain't getting painted. It's like this wood paneling shit, and I know it's weird. It's real weird. Anyways, I got the freaking paint and everything, so I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start prepping y'all, and we should be good to go here in a few. And I'm gonna try to do as much as I can tonight. Hell, I I might just get excited and pull an all nighter, go hunting in the morning. My buddy's coming over in the morning because I got to take down the damn dip tower, which pissed me off. Completely forgot about that. Got to take down the dip tower, so I'm gonna have him help me. And, uh, and then I can paint, and then I got to set it back up. So yeah. Oh hey, check out my new bar stools. Check them some bitches out. So I wanted, uh, I had this little canopy thing here. I don't know if I ever told you all that. I had this little canopy thing here on my uh, on my freaking bar bar here. There's like this old canopy some bitch that went to the you know this thing. It looked weird as tits, right? So I took it off. I, I took it off like it was screwed in. Uh, it was down here, right? And uh, so there was an outlet in the side of it right here. So what I did is I took this some bitch off. I, uh, I got the the electrical box out and everything, and then I uh, carved a hole in the top of the uh, the bar here, and then put the box in and uh, put the uh, the outlet in the bar. So got an outlet in the bar now so that was pretty cool i could have just got rid of it but i thought it'd be cool to have like a little house out there put the laptop up here and plug it in if i need to so i got rid of that some bitch so that opened up everything like a ton more so i cannot wait to get rid of those damn flowers on my wall all right the only reason i'm painting my house is to get rid of the flowers y'all that's pretty much it no but uh so oh i got some more nails there son of a dick um so yeah, I opened that up, uh, put the couch back out here, got a desk in the office now, put some bar stools up. Bar stools are expensive. Fuck that. I went to Walmart and I got these for 30 bucks a piece. 30 bucks a piece is still too much. Could have got them cheap ass ones, but I wanted some ones with the back and that swiveled. So 30 bucks was actually a good price compared to like 200 bucks a stool. I'm like, what the tiff, man? All you're going to do is sit in the sun, bitch. Banjo's going to help, ain't you, boy? Ain't you, Banjo? Oh yeah, also... These, uh, these air registers here, heat registers, flow registers, whatever the titch you want to call them. I bought some Rust-Oleum freaking uh, spray paint today. And uh, some satin spray paint, shit that goes on metal. And I uh, uh, got some black. I'm going to paint all them some bitches to do black. So The carpet, this carpet is actually the original carpet that was in this place. And it actually ain't bad. I mean, you can't really tell because there's not much light in here. Which is another thing I'm doing too. I ordered a new fan because this fan uh, doesn't work anymore and there's no light on it. So I ordered a new fan. I'm going to put that in whenever it gets here. And uh, it's a nice fan and it's got lights. So that'll be nice. Um, and I'll have more light in here because there ain't no lights in this bitch Unless I put a lamp in here. Which I will have to do when I start painting. But anyways, I'll paint the air registers up and everything. But yeah, I'm just 
put, I'm just getting this whole place fixed up, so make it look real good. And, uh, you know, probably hadn't had much work done to it in the past, previous 20 years, so I'm like, fuck it. I said, fuck it, I'll fix it up. I like doing that type of shit, so that's what I'm doing. Somebody's gotta freaking suck my, uh, anyways, uh, so, if y'all know that song, then y'all, y'all know that was funny. Y'all know it. Anyways, I'm just, uh, puttying or spackling, spackling, I'm spackling right now. Uh, this stuff is freaking tits. If y'all ever heard of this, it's Dap Fast and Final, Fast and Final. Uh, this is my favorite stuff for um, doing this. Now, I've had to do this a lot. Now, all this, you can barely see it now, but uh, all of this, you can see like those little bumps there. That was all uh, from like tax. And shit, hold on, let me turn this son bitch down. It was all from like tax and stuff to hold up a, uh, like a blanket over the window. So, best way, you know, you gotta fill those holes so the paint don't soak into it, all blah, 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 shit, right? So, you know, this stuff is freaking tits because it's, first of all, it's real soft, right? Like, it's soft as a cloud, as a baby's bottom. And, um, best thing about it is, you know, like other types of putty and stuff, it's, you know, a little thicker. But this stuff you can just put on your finger and there's so many holes here that you just, just basically glide it around the wall. You don't have to just do each one in particular. And, you, you know, I just put it on with my index finger and then wipe it off with my, my middle finger. You don't even really have to do much wiping off because it, like, absorbs into the wall. And it doesn't leave any, like, you know, streaks or anything to where you'll see when you paint it. So, I recommend that shit. But, uh, I'm almost done freaking spackling here. I love that word. Spackling! Anyways, uh, I just, uh, did one wall here in my room. Uh, cut in the top and the bottom. Uh, as you can see, I don't use tape. I've been doing... I've, some of y'all don't know that my dad's a contractor and I grew up... <laughs> Every weekend, we'd want to go hang out, but no, my dad would take us to work with him. So, I've been doing, you know, this long enough to where I won't need much tape. I do tape, I tape off, you know, some crown molding or some baseboards, you know, if I want to go really quick. But, uh, I decided just to cut it in all by hand. But, uh, I just want to do, I'm going to actually roll this wall out real quick and I want to just see, uh, kind of what it looks like. Just to make sure I like the color, you know, how it looks on the wall and shit, so. I'm gonna roll it out real quick and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. See what it looks like! Alright, so there's the uh, <clears throat> first wall done. I think, uh, I don't know, depending. This is the um, Valspar. It's mixed with primer. So I don't really like that kind. I don't know, it was the cheaper one, but uh, I most I wasn't even expect really gonna do primer on this, just do the paint, because the freaking mixed with primer shit is. It's, there's no difference. There's legitimately no difference. So, whatever. I got that some bitch. So, I'm happy with the color. Let it dry. It's probably going to get a little darker. Uh, which is okay. Um, but, uh, I, uh, what was I going to say? I might have to do another coat. I'll have to wait till it dries to see. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to freaking, um, I think I'm just going to roll everything out tonight in this room. And see how I feel after that, and then uh, you know I'll cut everything in uh, afterwards. But uh, yeah, all right. So a few hours later, I finished. It actually, looks a lot better. Still kind of wet. Oh my gosh, sorry y'all. I am like dead right now. My back is killing me. But uh, so I got her all done. Anyways, I apologize. I didn't show me, you know, doing any of the painting. There wasn't much room to put the camera on a tripod and do like a time lapse. But uh, when I um, <clears throat> when I go out here and do the living room and shit, I will. So uh, that'll be tomorrow. Let's see what time it is, real quick. It is 2:06. Well, I don't know. I might take a little break here, and if I feel like doing more, I will. I'll probably do the bathroom in the little hallway here. And then I might go hunt, which will be a probably really stupid thing. But it's going to be really chilly, so I think it'll be pretty decent for hunting. So I just cleaned everything up a little bit. I figured I'd give you all a better look uh, of everything. So... 
I cleaned it up somewhat, but I don't want to clean it up too much because I'm going to have to lay a second coat on there tomorrow. Uh, I freaking turn on. Oh, yeah, so you can see the color a little better. That ain't bad. It's actually just what I wanted. Maybe I was thinking it was going to be a little darker, but it's actually it's like, it's like perfect. So it's pretty funny like how much better it looks. Anyways, <laughs> I cannot wait for them damn flowers to be off my wall. I'm telling you. I uh, I guess this will be the end of today. I'll come back with you. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, the only paint I got on myself today, and it was from freaking putting the bucket up against my shirt. Son of a tit. Banjo's all worn out. But uh, yeah, I'm ready to kind of maybe get some sleep. But I don't know. Um. I guess I will, you know, just put up a video tomorrow too, and every day until we get this done. Anyways, uh, appreciate y'all watching. I, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow for more painting. Alright y'all, keep freaking hell, Billy.